Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at the latest on the Calgary Flames situation. Johnny Goudreau is still undecided. There is still a path where he returns to Calgary. It just doesn't seem very likely at this point. Um, the big story has been Matthew Kachuk. Uh, apparently, there was a trade that was given to the Flames, and since then, all the trade talk has been dialed back to zero, as the Calgary Flames are not trading Matthew Kachuk, but we'll go over that offer from a specific team in the Metropolitan Division, so we'll take a look at that. Um, so let's start off with Elliot Freeman. Now, this is going back, right, backpedaling to last weekend, and teams around the NHL are waiting to pounce on potentially trading for Matthew Kachuk, and that was back right before the draft. Also right before the draft, Andy Strickland said the Flames have zero plans of trading Matthew Kachuk and remain completely focused on trying to re-sign him. Um, and that's really where the sentiment lies today. Now, this was an interesting report here from Bruce uh, Garriock. He said the Devils reportedly offered the Flames a trade package that included the second overall pick, for forward Matthew Kachuk. Obviously nothing came to fruition and the Flames have now shut down any trade talks regarding Matthew Kachuk. So how interesting would that have been? Kachuk to the Devils. Um, definitely would have been a pretty bold, a pretty bold, ballsy move by the Devils, but it would have made sense, right? For the second overall pick, um, it would have made sense. Um, now Calgary has kind of been adamant saying, listen, what's that thing? You know, actions speak louder than words. So if Calgary is out here saying, oh, we're not trading him, but then they're fielding offers for Kachuk. Well, then are they really sold and hundred percent committed to the player? Maybe not. But now this seems more concrete. Now that they have shut down those rumors, they said, listen, we're not trading Kachuk. We're not taking any offers for him. You know, please hang up the phone. That is it. And that's where the Flames are at with Matthew Kachuk. So they are trying to hash out a contract. Hopefully we hear from that here in the next couple of days. And this all gets resolved. Now on Johnny Goudreau. So Johnny Goudreau at this point is still undecided where he wants to go. And I've already mentioned teams he may want to go to on the East Coast. I think that's where he's going to end up. Um... You know, one of the teams that's been mentioned is Seattle, but I think that's a little bit of smoke and mirrors. To be completely honest, the kid from southern southern New Jersey grew up a Flyers fan. It's hard to not put the Flyers at the top of that list. But the Flyers would have to show their hand a little bit because they currently don't have the, the cap space to bring in a guy like Goudreau after the Tony D'Angelo signing. So... That means we've recently been hearing that guys like Travis Konechny, Ivan Provorov, and James Van Riemsdyk, if they get to, if they do get traded here in the next couple of days, that might give you a little bit more intel because the Flyers would be clearing that cap space in order to bring in Johnny Goudreau. But other than the Philadelphia Flyers, who else would be in the mix for Johnny Goudreau? I think the Devils are an obvious team that would be of interest, right? We just talked about how they were trying to pry out Matthew Kachuk from Calgary. Uh, I think they would definitely be in the running for a scorer like Johnny Goudreau, who's from the Garden State. It would make some sense. But I also have some other teams in the mix. Uh, the Boston Bruins are a team that could be in the mix. We haven't heard much about the Bruins being in the mix, and I think a lot of that is because they have the worry of the David Pasternak contract. Um, I think that definitely has some say in what's going to happen here, um, but I think they are considering that. He did play at Boston College back in the day in his days of playing in the NCAA for men's hockey. And the other one, and of course this is my Islander, a little bit of bias maybe coming in, but... Are the Islanders at least not, at the very least, on Johnny Goudreau's radar? Now, here's the selling pitch I would give if I'm Lou, right? You're the last piece we need. We've gotten to the conference finals before. We, The only team that beat us was the Tampa Bay Lightning. And if you were on those teams, we might have been winning Stanley Cup. So come to our team. You're not. You're going to be an hour, hour and a half away from, from Philly, right? You're an hour and a half drive away, and you can win right away. The Flyers, you're not going to be winning for probably another three or four years. And you also have that a-hole behind the bench named John Tortorella. 
wouldn't you rather come to the Islanders, right? I'm just saying, I think there is reason to believe that there could be something there. Now, again, kind of like the Flyers, the Islanders don't have the cap space either, so they would have to move, say, an Anthony Beauvillier. Um, we've been hearing conflicting reports on whether Varlamov gets traded or not, but that's another one. So, you know, this is a flame-centric video, so I want to get back to that. But there are teams in the running for Goudreau if he does indeed hit the open market. And to be honest, if, if Goudreau is in a spot where he's maybe rejecting offers from Calgary, when you start to hear that, that's when you should be the most concerned. And we haven't heard that at this point. Because at that point, you know, it's kind of like he's already moved on, right? If he's rejecting big offers from Calgary, he's already probably fielded another offer underneath the table that we don't know about. So, we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, my, my prediction is still that he could go back to Calgary, but I really think he's going to end up going to the Flyers. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of Kachuk. It sounds like those reports have been shut down, but let me know what you think and what his next contract could look like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.